Hey everyone, and welcome back to Overtly Mocking Games, OMG. This is Michael T. Bradley. And OMG, it's J. Wilford Neville. Oh, what a surprise. We are ready to jump back into uh, the next uh, part of Gabriel Knight's Sins of the Fathers. You ready to hop right in there? I can't wait. I don't remember what DOS we're on, though. I think we're on like DOS 17. It seems like they were flying <laughs> right by there. Let's uh, let's let's take a look and find out um, where we last left off. Gabriel was blue balled because uh, <laughs> what's her name didn't Malia didn't pick up the phone. Yep, busy signal. Those were the days. I wonder if we'll get another little song. Here. Oh, we got a dream. Yeah, it's it's been a couple of days since we got a dream, hasn't it? Yeah. I wonder if it'll be different this time. Somehow I doubt it. Leopard, come on, leopard, come on. Yeah, oh, there she is. Oh wait, that that's different. I think so. Oh, it's a ski ball leopard, or the eye of Sauron, or <laughs> now that's the same. Blood's gonna spill on it now, like Templars or some shit. Nope. Yeah. There's a dagger, a magic dagger Chris turns knife and into some a snakes. Snakes. And Saint George's. Or. Did he just see St. George's? Who's seeing St. George's here? There's a Judas guy again. And then... DOS... Oh. Eight, I'm guessing? <laughs> DOS six. six. It was even. Uh, and then the night became as day. I glimpsed nature's reddest claw. The face of fear looked back at me as I gazed into the maw. <laughs> into the maw. <laughs> I kind of envy whoever it is that's playing Paperboy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why is the chicken still alive? I they did know. that badly. Oh, I thought it was a homunculus. Save, save me, <laughs> save me, Grace. What is it? What's wrong? Gabriel? I see it, Grace. Hold on. Look, I it's tried to make shot. a casserole. <laughs> no, I want him back. It's okay. Gabriel, that thing is still barely alive. How could someone do Well, this? first you grip it firmly by the neck and you pluck <laughs> out all the fe- Oh. You call the police. No, I'll take care of it. But Gabriel- I said, I'll take care of it. Why don't you go get some coffee and have it all turned up? How do you get, um, like, chicken blood you know out of a Persian rug? Maybe someone should write to Ask Amy <laughs> and find out. I'm sure it's online by now. Whoa, Whoa, that was fast. <laughs> you just blink. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to go home? I could close the shop today. <laughs> no. You just edit the dead chicken out of existence. That's what you do. Oh, not that they aren't still watching. Well, a little paranoid there, Grace. Yeah. Not that they aren't still watching. That book you ordered in this morning, the one on Rada drums. Wow, that was fast. Great. I edited the post office so it would come today. <laughs> I don't even remember ordering that book. Was that just something that happened off screen, I guess? Uh, we, we told her to do it, I think. Hmm. Back. I still wonder, is there no library in New Orleans? Apparently not. Drum code. Maybe, um, maybe the, um, like... The book Librarians keep getting murdered the way they're like anthropologists do. <laughs> so, um, okay. Got... Why do we always go up to our room to check that? It's, it's <laughs> as if we have dirty books or something. And it's like, dude. Oh, we're going to check our horoscope. Yeah. Today it says if you read Time that dr room. Rada drum Eight book, you will die. What the hell is up with their chandelier? I just noticed that. Oh, is that what that is? I never... I thought it was four little lamps, like, arranged haphazardly on the bookshelves. I, I guess it could be. I want to know what's up there on the mezzanine, though. Yeah. I'm assuming that's where the climax will take place. Usually that's my bedroom. And I'm alone. But horoscope, not a narrator. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. 
Today you will either die or your life will change forever. The Times pick a year and really needs to change editorship. <laughs> they at least need a new horoscope writer. Right. I want to know if all the other horoscopes are like, uh, oh, 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 he got oh, his Hogwarts letter. Know. It's his Hogwarts letter. <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> that was a, that was an the owl. The front door leads to Bourbon Street. Special delivery, it seems. Oh, you're coy, not a narrator. I don't know what the hell I was going to say. No, but I wonder if, that's what it, I wonder if all the other horoscopes just are just like, animal. you know, I can see that. fluffy pink elephant. <laughs> What it, do we know what Gabriel's sign is? Did it ever tell us? It did at the beginning, and I can't remember what it was now. Uh, I, w I, w I want to say Aries, but I think I'm wrong. I wonder if, like, the horoscope editor once Gabriel dated someone who was the same sign fine. as Gabriel, and, like, <laughs> she dissed him really hard. <laughs> and so now all he does is write just the shittiest horoscopes that he can come Mosley up with for her sign. Says, oh, here we go. What's Mosley going to yeah, say? I have to go underground with this thing. Runs wide and deep throughout the department and the city. That's hall. no way to talk about your ex, Mosley. I'm already being watched. It was suggested I take vacation time, so I am. At least as far as they know. Try to keep out of this. It's too hot for a rookie. Your mom's Just too in hot case, for a rookie. I'm sending you my office key. Wait, what the hell? Like, like stay key. out of this. It's too hot. Anyway, here's, here's my office key. key. To my office at the police the station. Book, don't you? Make sure you say it. The note is signed, Detective Mosley. Way to incriminate yourself in the future the investigation there, Mosley. Mosley. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, I don't know why he found it necessary to sign the letter, especially since, like, he wrote it in his voice. Yeah. You'd think that would Are you give okay? it away. I'd be peachy if you'd give up all this voodoo crap, Gabriel. Is she in on the conspiracy? Is she trying to discourage us? <laughs> Maybe she put the chick in there. I never noticed that cat carrier over by the door. Will you do me we a should go get Mr. Fluffins what? and take him into the vet. Use your paints to cover this snake tattoo. <laughs> I don't even see a cat carrier. Now, why that gray you thing you under his trench that? coat. Is that not a cat the... carrier? <laughs> um, it I'm looks like an old body. iron to me. 16-bit so. graphics are difficult. I guess you're going with Maya. Maya? Uh, yeah. I don't understand what, like, their relationship is supposed to be. Are they just children? Is that... Well, if you're jealous about my feelings for her... You know that's not... I think late 80s, early 90s especially, there was this trend of, like... It's probably understandable. Uh, romantic interests had to hate each other. Hmm. Quite naturally. Me? I would rather be hung by my hair over a bed of scorpions. I'm I guess as long as you aren't let go, that's place not place that bad, right? No yeah. To avoid hearing about it, seeing it also, bed day. of scorpions Fine. dibs on I'll that band it. name. Shut up. Can we at least go in the back? Sounds like an old Bon Jovi sure. song. <laughs> Lay you down. Pop your lips more. Ugh. Also, uh, Grace, uh, uh, when I was banging Molly the other night, I might have got some semen <laughs> on your ledger say? book, so sorry about that. Does it smell funny? Oh, oh. Ooh, hello. <laughs> All right. Let's go. The shirt, please. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this moment. Now. Hold still. Is she gonna put some blackface on us? <laughs> One more remark. That would be and amazing. Okay, okay. Got a little Ted dancing around here. Done. Whoa. It's just stunning. She was fast. Sorry, I couldn't make it last yeah. longer. Well, it was about what I expected from you. Maybe this entire time it was supposed to be playful flirting, and Leia Remini just read it as if she hated him. <laughs> Gabriel's legs have two knees in each of them, I think. <laughs> Are you going to be okay here by yourself? I kind of wish not a narrator would just babble uh, just, while he, like, fine. walks, you know? <laughs> this, okay? 
Oh, it I'm looks like Gabriel could use some Madame Musol. <laughs> As Gabriel wandered toward the door, his mind wandered to that time in the fifth grade when that girl called him fat. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hey, I'm just here unlocking an office. That's cool, right? Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? I'm here to see Detective Mosley. Um, we, we don't have a uh, Detective Mosley here. What? I've seen him all week. Listen to what I'm saying. We don't have a Detective Mosley on the force. Oh, it's like the forgotten. Sam? <laughs> Sam? Pretty chipper, upbeat music for uh, uh, a yeah, worldwide no conspiracy. Now. Move along. Yeah. Oh, do we have to distract Sorry. him? We gotta, like, throw a Polish sausage out the door. We gotta go set fire to that beignet card or something. Alright, Parazing. Dazzle <laughs> us with knowing where to go. Maybe we're gonna hire some people to do, a, like, a riot on the police headquarters. Oh, oh, see, Beignet card again. That's what we did last time. Huh. Wow, that dude. That dude's taking some pills. <laughs> Hello. What can I do for you, sir? <laughs> I'm curious. What the heck are beignets, anyway? Deep fried sweet dough with powdered sugar on top. New Orleans Holy dance. hell, that sounds good. Yeah, they're actually pretty amazing, but you'd think that having... Whoa, time just froze for hey, a I'm second there. You you'd think that having lived in New Orleans, Orleans all his life, that probably Gabriel would know that. Yeah. You say you used to be at Royal and Conti? That's right. Why don't you go back there? Do you think? I, I've been kind of torn. Must be the weather. These thick clouds we've had all week. I'm just not seeing the crowds here that I expect. You, the band there doesn't eat enough beignets to... I definitely think you should go back to Royal and Conti. Really? I'm glad you think so. I always liked that beat. But I thought I ought to give this a shot. Oh, so I'm oh, about ready to murder those right. band members. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the guy with the sleeveless t-shirt again. I'm going back yeah. over there. He's just doing laps around the park, I guess. Oh, I, th I think that's, uh, oh god, what's his name from Roadhouse? Uh, whatever Patrick Swayze's <laughs> Patrick Swayze. character. Yeah. What's so, his character's name? Like Dallas or Maverick or something? Dallas Maverick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dallas Maverick, bouncer. <laughs> yeah, he, it was, uh, he was like the most famous bouncer ever. In fact, they like named a basketball team after him. <laughs> He's back. Where? I was close with my guess there. <laughs> okay, okay. Now do we have to wait for him to? I guess. I don't know. This is exactly how we did it last time. We just waited for the beignet cart. I just... I mean, our... I, I know they... Grab me three or four, would ya? Forget it, I'm broke. I know they kind of like are, are pushing the whole like cops are stupid thing, but seriously, like. Right. Especially like we already tried to go behind the counter and now they're just gonna leave us unattended in there. Yeah. And and they can see us. Yeah. <laughs> they can see us walking right past. And this international conspiracy did not think to rekey the door to Detective Mosley's office. After they disappeared not. him. Mosley's desk has more groin on it than on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the editorial. What an odd little addition to how to read that. On he head. <laughs> There's a tracking device oh, in the drawer. It's so that if you steal the desk, they'll be able to this track you down. They lowjacked the desk. 
He's got like a spidey tracer now. He's gonna fling that at somebody who attacks him with a snake next time. Okay. Oh, it's not pomp and circumstance in here this time. That's weird. Hey, get out of there, you! I'm not gonna bother Sorry. searching you or anything. Just looking for a restroom. You broke into the police headquarters, but there will be no consequences. I'm sure Mosley didn't leave a gun or anything in there. <laughs> I mean, whoever this Mosley person is that I've never heard of before. Holy hell, Jackson Square is like the answer to everything in this game. It looks like the old, uh, the, the wizened Chinese man from uh, Big Trouble in Little China <laughs> on the left there. Oh, there's a Rada drummer. Now we just read the book right in front of him. <laughs> With the words Rada in big red Gabriel letters on the cover. He carefully to the drums and opens his Rada book to translate. Oh, oh God. <laughs> um, it's very thoughtful of him to play so slowly. Yeah. It's still too fast for me to follow what the hell we're doing here. I, oh, I guess it is it repeating itself? No, almost. Where I'm, I oh wow. Lake, let's go for Lake, cause oh no. Hmm. If Gabriel's translation of the drum code is correct, there'll be a conclave tonight in the swamp. That must be the Bayou. The Bayou. The bayou. <laughs> Maybe it's by me though. <laughs> no, the bio seems like a pretty good place to have conclave. It's right down there on State Street, and they have like 200 different kinds of beer, so that's good. Oh, that's right, and they um, they make a mean, um, what is it, beans and rice or whatever? I don't know. I always get the gumbo laya, mm. which is gumbo on top of jambalaya. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, good. More Dr. John, right? Hello, Dr. John. I've been watching a lot of Star Trek The Next Generation lately. <laughs> and then a snake attacks. What the hell are those two little transistors he has there? This device is called a tracker. Gabriel remembers the time when he and Mosley used it illegally with a couple of babes in a white container. Uh, okay. that's it a little uncomfortable. Stop. Yeah, excellent use of... Such as Use of police powers there, mostly. The signal device emits a signal that appears on the tracker. L E D. Like she, she obviously thought that meant something like Q E D. Right. Old people and technology inherently funny. Gabriel flips the signal device into the safety module. The what? I, I have no idea what that is, let alone why we would put a signal device no, in it. Look. Also, why wouldn't Dr. John be like, what are you putting in my record player, or whatever the <laughs> hell it is? I hate to rush you, Mr. Knight, but I am afraid I must close the museum early this evening. This is St. John's Eve, and it's getting on towards dusk. I have is Dr. John St. John? I see. No problem. I, I doubt it. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. May the spirits guard you well tonight. Okay, see so you at the swamp. I mean... <laughs> Goodbye, you. Goodbye, you. Maybe his father was St. John. Hmm, yeah. No, no, St. John is my father. Please call me Dr. John. Wow, these uh, conclaves aren't quite what they used to be, huh? 
Oh, I see. It's a it's a map, but hoping that the shaky module. But why would we think that thing would be at the ritual? Uh, maybe we've just forgotten. Maybe somebody told us about it a while ago. There's a blip. They must be here with the Seike Madule. What the hell is a Seike Madule? <laughs> I don't see that that thing is... Oh, okay, it's kind of to the northeast. There we go. Uh, I don't see a blip on there now. Mm -mm. So, oh, maybe, maybe there's only one direction we can go? This is the worst tricorder ever. Okay, that, there's a blip to the east. Is there? I don't well, not really hurrying. Did we just come from that direction? Or did we? I've definitely seen that train bu tree before. Gabriel hopes this tracking thing is working correctly. Oh god, so it literally did makes you... Just come from that direction? Like, go back and forth. We? And when it's northeast, do you go north or east? <laughs> Damn, Mosley and his infernal machine that he's used before with Mosley, apparently, and it apparently it worked. It only works reliably when sexually harassing people, though. Mm. Just like Gabriel. Yeah. Oh, they couldn't get on a narrator to record a few more of these little well, pieces of color text. Just think, if you didn't like have this LED, I wonder what sort of crazy stuff she'd be telling us then. Right? Or maybe just snakes attack you immediately. We're gonna give a letter to the tree. I'm gonna turn the LED off, I guess. <laughs> the entrance to a clearing. Is marked with skull. At last. Something he can fap to. <laughs> Put on the gator mask. Yes. Nice. When in Rome. Well, what you're not putting your come on. When in Rome, put on your gator mask. That's that's the saying. Here goes nothing. He's gonna be the only white person there, and it's gonna be awkward. <laughs> I think I was right. Welcome, Brother Crocodile. Please join the other celebrants. Yes, Dr. Jones. Brother Eagle. But first, name the great serpent who crushes all in his coils. Dumbala. <laughs> you are correct. What voice was that? Dumbala. Is the destroyer of men. There's a pop quiz before the. I yeah, I guess so. Ah, correct, brother crocodile. Enjoy yourself well tonight. <laughs> Is that a play on they're gonna eat him? I, I, I don't. Yeah, probably. This is weird. Is that is that eight bit tits that we're seeing? I there? think so. I think St those are supposed to be topless women. Still hot. Yeah. If it were 1993 right now, I would have to put my microphone on mute. <laughs> Partially because I'd be 12. Uh, okay, so that he know? Do they know he's Gabriel or? Now ski, ski ball for all your wood. Hey, hey, the party started. <laughs> Well, this doesn't really... I... okay. I mean... Are we just we, dreaming we, while awake now? Are we hallucinating? I... where was she in relation to anything? Maria. I can smell blood. Oh, okay. Uh, the guy we got a transfusion from? Yeah, I guess so. I needed a liver. What else could I do? <laughs> oh, yeah. Molly oh, turned a little weird and got really silent there. Did the game get weirdly silent for you, too? No, I still hear 
talking? Yeah, I'm just very eerily quiet. All right, DOS 7. DOS 7. Das my last seven. ally laid to waste, I ran towards the light. I prayed for one to change my path to give me strength to fight. Strength to fight. Two dollars. <laughs> Thump. Oh, what dead animal is there today? Gabriel. Gabriel, wake up. Gabriel, apparently. I wonder if he choked another chicken wow, in the store. Uh, Malia is right. downstairs with her spleen on the floor. Now come on, get dressed. Wait a minute. I'm starting to remember. What is that hanging out of his pants? Um, raffle tickets? of the Voodoo Cartel. They're responsible for the murders. They've been doing it for years. Malia? Last night she was a leper. Like in my dreams, Grace. I know. Those dreams were a warning. Now come on, get From dressed. From whom? But last night, Malia changed. She became someone, something else. And then I blacked out, I think. How did I get home? I Rode the leopard. <laughs> I had my doubts about the Gettys. Did you know that they arrived in New Orleans in 1800? Just in time for the voodoo influx. The voodoo influx tonight voodoo on CBS. Night, so I you. As I previously what stated. <laughs> if you'd been left in the circle last night, I don't know what she would have done to you. You're wrong. Malia wouldn't hurt me. What about Tetelo? Tetelo? They were chanting that last night. So, did Grace literally jump in in the middle of that ceremony where they were yes. trying to kill Gabriel, Gabriel and grab him? And throw him over her shoulder and carry him out. <laughs> yeah. This or you'll yes. end up dead. Okay. Tevilo will be after you now. You have to call your great uncle in Germany. Uncle Wolf Wolfgang? Yes. He knows more about this than we do. Okay. I'll call him. But Malia isn't responsible for those things, Grace. It's that spirit. Yeah. Grace is kind of uh, is that way. taking this all in stride, I'll really. Thing. Right. I'll be in the shop. I hope she thought to grab his trench coat from the edge of the forest right. before she right. carried him home. It looks like he's got a big tongue right there. There's a flashlight on the dresser. This building's wiring leaves Oh my god, how would you know to click there and get that flashlight? There are like 8 billion tiny little unseeable things in here. <laughs> you click on every single thing. I wow. might need a flashlight. For hours on end. Quick, click on those Mardi Gras beads on the wall. Quick. I might need a dildo. I might need... I mean, you might need anything, Gabriel. <laughs> That's just how life goes. Well, luckily he has pockets of ultimate holding. Oh, she did get his trench coat. That's a really good. Yeah. And she brought him home unconscious on his motorcycle? Times Picker Hughes, dated June 24th, 1992. She, like, affixed a sidecar before going and throwing him over her shoulder? In the papers today, Gabriel finds a humorous tidbit under the light. Oh, that is a humorous tidbit. Oh, what the hell are you talking about? Apparently. <laughs> There were reports of His uh, horoscope today is just going to be like, you're probably dead, right? Did the leopard eat you? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> with stories about yeah, we get it. We get how, like, what ghosts in the swamp means. Over the swamp. Some folks claim it's the ghost of Marie Laveau. But the young one or the old the one? <laughs> related to similar Someone else says it's the go time traveling ghost of David Boreanaz. Because he's not dead yet, so his ghost has to travel back in time. Also, it's weird because it's 1993, so no one knows who he is. God help me, I'm actually starting to listen to this guy. Okay, so now we get on our motorcycle and just leave. Wolfgang, you got a spare bedroom or something? About that. <laughs> I've already and then said we that ride our motorcycle to, to Germany. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Take the rug with you. 
I might need a rug. We noticed that it's been like a week and Gabriel hasn't pooped. Well, it's off screen. Or he just needs to eat more prunes. I don't know. This is Gabriel Knight. I guess he hasn't eaten anything either. Yeah, Herr Knight. One moment, bitte. Gabriel, it's so good to hear your voice. I had such a dream last night. There's a good reason for that, Uncle Wolfgang. We need to talk. Really? There's a reason that I dreamt that I was wearing sort of flowing sun god robes and standing on top of a pyramid while thousands of tiny women were screaming and throwing pickles at me? We have to talk about Have you ever once in your life found yourself saying to someone while you're talking to them, we need Tell to talk? <laughs> I hope there will be time for that later, Gabriel, after this is all over. For now, we must deal wait, with the method Wait, wait, is Uncle Wolfgang Michael Jackson? <laughs> have you ever heard of it's... Dambala? Dambala is a snake. Uh, he is a loa, a voodoo god. Yes. He's one of the primary lower. I was kind of thinking, what the hell's his name? Simon, what's his I name from uh, Castlevania? Simon Beaumont? Might prove I Simon don't Beaumont know. Simon Beaumont-ish there. Does the name Ogun Badakri mean anything to you? It is a voodoo and lower, is it not? Are, yes, are we giving Wolfgang a pop quiz? Nasty one, so I understand. <laughs> Have you come across anything about it in your research? He seems to be feared by most voodoo groups. I haven't come across very much specific information. I don't I don't worry so much about Gabriel not like eating or going to the bathroom as the fact that he's wearing the same baby. shirt and pants. <laughs> it is a visual symbol of one or more lower. Plus I mean he's Each had sex like twice, sign. you know? I mean like those clothes must just be disgusting by now. Yeah. Especially walking around in like what can you tell me summer heat of New years? Orleans in a yes. black leather trench coat. I sometimes forget how little you know of the family, Gabriel. I never understood how Hanks could allow his sons to remain so ignorant. No, I wish I could kill him. Now, <laughs> that's the time for that discussion. Schottenjäger is really two words in English, Gabriel. Oh, yep. See, what did I tell you? He's a, he's a fucking shadow hunter. Shadow hunter? Yes. Shadow hunter. Shadow, shadow hunter. hunter. Shadow hunter. <laughs> Do you know oh, oh Jesus Matthew Christ, Lavo? Gabriel, don't go down this no, road. I'm afraid not. Thank God. Snakes, ask him about snakes, for <laughs> Christ's sake. <laughs> Tell me about Tetelo. Well, from your description of the ritual last night, I'd say that Gunther's mistress, Tetelo, is now the primary lore for the Geddy tribe. I mean, I'm, I'm just springboarding here. Tell me what you female think. descendants and speaking through them. Do you remember in Gunther's journal he said that Tetelo was possessed by her father's lower during the killings in Charleston? This sounds similar, but uh, Tetelo uh, okay. has obviously become a much more powerful lower than her uh, father ever was. Long periods Probably of exposition. It's like a Neil Stevenson novel. Mm, you, you keep... you have so much <laughs> Neil Stevenson. Let's talk about the talisman. <laughs> Oh, it was a good and Peter Straub Stephen King collaboration. Black House was not so good. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the family for centuries before Tepelo took it. It is believed to be as old as the role of Chattanooga itself. The talisman has genuine power. I don't know how or why, but it is so. The Chattanooga swore to use the power for good, never for evil. Defense, oh yeah, the best offense. defense is a good offense. You know who said that? Mel, the cook on Alice. Think what the law has been used for, or what it will be used for in the future. I, with the talisman, Tetlo has all the power and we none. Okay. The only possible way to fight her is to regain the talisman. And then we won't fight her because we can't do that. We have to use it for defense only. <laughs> Well, maybe Gabriel can make a new talisman out of like the, the voodoo or the uh, Mardi Gras beads in his bedroom Ever and like we lost it. it's a terrible thing some to know spit something and like a little bit of that chicken. In the wrong hands. What would be better is if they were having this conversation while they were like walking and like picking up That's shit from Gabriel's room. <laughs> Tetelo's remains. Tetelo's remains. Ha. <laughs> We have I thought it said we have powdered that question. 
There are two probabilities. Wait, so is like the, the twist first, ending going to be that like the Gabriel the then passes on the torch the of Schottenjäger to his brother John Ritter? Then <laughs> like Gabriel Knight 2 it all takes place behind the homeland. scenes of Three's Company. <laughs> I'd play that game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> Dettler's tribe was utterly destroyed in its African form in the late 17th century. There was nothing like a census in Africa then. As for the other idea, we had no clue as to where Tetlow's people went after fleeing Charles. I wanted to make a Toto Until joke now. there, but I couldn't really find it. <laughs> Let's discuss the possible Africa Oh, here we go. Homeland. By which I mean... The rains down in Africa. <laughs> I there spoke you go. with the Professor Hartridge. Unfortunately for him, I have real he bad halitosis. The name was Agri, <laughs> and that they lived near the Fon tribe in what is now called the People's Republic of Benin. You just made that place up. That is incredible, Gabriel. Oh, that sounds I fun. Ha ha ha! Little shot in your library 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 right now. <laughs> Wait, what should I do? Read your horoscope. <laughs> Goodbye. If you get a chance, you might look into the possibilities that Tetler's remains are somewhere in New Orleans. I mean, they have to be but somewhere. Don't try to broach their private areas without my You can't just, like, burn a human body. You will make a fine shot in here, <laughs> but only if you're not dead. That's how I'm going to sure, refer to I'll sex work. from now on. I'm going to broach their here. private remember, areas. <laughs> if you need a place of safety, come to Schloss Ritter. Goodbye, Uncle Wolfgang. Well, we did that. That happened. Yeah. Let's go see if Crash's corpse is still in the Catholic Church. I think we should go visit Grandma. I'm going out for a bit. Oh, okay. Be let's careful. uh let's call it a let's call a break here because we've been <laughs> going on for quite a while. Uh, All right. Next time, I, I think we're actually kind of being sucked into the plot. Like it's goofy, but I'm like, where the hell is this going now? Right. Yeah. It's actually almost kind of interesting, and it only took um, four and a half hours to get <laughs> to, to cemetery. any sort of development. But yeah, I guess we're going to the cemetery next, probably. Sounds good. We'll, uh, we'll see you next time. For now, this is Michael T. Bradley. And Jay Wilford Neville. And we are.